Hey, what's going on guys? Joe Rock here with some really exciting news. So uh, if you guys haven't heard yet, Xamarin is now included with Visual Studio. And uh, a, a couple weeks ago, or a few weeks ago, I posted a video talking about how Microsoft acquired Xamarin. And I spoke along the lines of what's the, what's the future of that? What, what, what can we expect? And one of the things that I did talk about is the pricing and whether it'll go down, maybe it'll be included. And my wishes, I'm sure, along with everyone else's, has has come true. So uh, Xamarin is now included with Visual Studio, and this is as of today. They have announced it in, at Microsoft Build 2016. Uh, so this is on the Xamarin side. If you if you go here, it'll talk about the the way that Visual Studio will now include Xamarin, and as of today, Xamarin and Visual Studio at no extra cost. Like this is awesome, guys. So I mean, you know, one of the things that we, we us, us Zamorians, I guess we can call ourselves, uh, have been, you know, kind of uh, struggling with is, is the cost. You know, we love Xamarin, but but it is if if you don't work for a company and you're just an independent vet developer, and Xamarin's done some great things for students and and uh, indie developers uh, for cost wise. But it is it is rather you got to reach pretty deep in your pocket to to do the licensing if you want the, the Visual Studio business uh, integration and all that. But now that is all the past. Now this is all included. We have Xamarin with Visual Studio at no extra cost. Um, and there are some things for enterprises. There are gonna be some, some probably some, some differences and some exceptions there. But if you're a, a indie developer or a small team uh, running community all the way up until enterprise, you're gonna be good to go. And there's probably gonna be some, uh, maybe the testing stuff is, is I know that the uh, cloud testing is probably going to still have some fees, but I mean, this is this is great. Uh, notice that if you come over here now into the pricing, you can see that it's it's totally changed. Now it's showing that Xamarin Studio is is community. Uh, that's the new name now is going to be free, and Visual Studio Community, which is the community edition, the free edition that Visual Studio offers, is now going to be. Uh, Xamarin will be now packaged with it, and that's for students, for small teams. And you know, notice that you got to get some price information, but this is going to be much cheaper, and much more cost effective still for uh, for enterprises and 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 corporations um, that are alike. So this is awesome, guys. So so you know, uh, I'm super excited. Uh, I, I hope you are too. You know, especially if you've been holding out or you've been paying the licensing. That's all done in the past, but. But as of today, what about if you want to now start getting visual or start getting Xamarin for free? Well, the way to get Xamarin for free right now is you got to download Visual Studio Update 2. So Visual Studio Update 2 is going to install Xamarin. Uh, it's going to be the Visual Studio that it installs alongside with, with, with Xamarin and it gets you all the goodies. And that's the first step that you're going to need to take. So what I did, is I just did a quick uh, Google search for Visual Studio update two if you're on update two already or even later for people that are watching this video much later then then you should be good to go uh, if you're not however and the way you can check is if you go into help about it will show version and update one is what i'm on so i'm using community 2015 update one so i have not yet updated mine yet and i'm going to do this i'm going to walk you through this right now and show you how to how to get Xamarin up and running, and um, to to uh, get it uh, at no cost. So notice that this is a uh, project that I have going on right now, guys. With with for some future tutorials that I have set up. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is notice that when I run it, pull up my emulator. So we're gonna get the old splash, which is built with evaluation. This build will only work for 24 hours. So because I'm using the trial right now. And so, so now that it's free, obviously we shouldn't get that anymore, right? We should now be able to build it and there is no trial because, you know, if you're a small team or if you meet those requirements, um, you're going to get it for free. So how do we get that going? So let, let's go ahead and take this existing project and we'll, we were going to get rid of that splash screen so that we can start building without, uh, you know, with, with getting the free version. So. How do we do that? So the first thing I need to do is, like I said, if you're on update one, two or uh, earlier than two, 2015, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come and get that. So I'm gonna come into 
visualstudio.com and I am going to download Visual Studio 2015 Update 2. And it's gonna download an executable. I'm gonna hit yes. And what it's probably gonna do is it's probably going to threaten to restart my computer unless I close Visual Studio, but I'm going to gamble on that. All right, so <laughs> as it is, so please close Visual Studio now to reduce. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. So this is the project that we'll be testing. But just remember that how you saw that splash screen, um, it talked about the evaluation period. And what I'm gonna do now is I closed it, so it should let me continue. Okay, so we're gonna get into here and notice that it's going to replace Visual Studio Update 1, replace it with 2. And if I, you could obviously install all this stuff alongside it, but what we're worried about right now is Xamarin and that is going to be right here. So if I click on cross-platform, third-party, C-sharp.net, Xamarin, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do. Um, I'm not sure if they even let you uncheck it. Looks like it even, as you can see, it's still checked. So there you go. Um, whether or not you wanna have anything else, that's up to you. But notice how that is checked by default. So let's go ahead and um, what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to hit next and that's going to start installing it's obviously going to take a while. So I'm going to pause this video and we'll return when uh, it is done. All right guys, we're back. So uh, looks like I have to do a restart and even though, you know, sometimes you close everything out and it still needs to restart. So uh, I'm going to restart the computer to make sure that all the effects go in and I will be back after that. All right, so I have restarted my computer uh, and restarted Visual Studio, started back up, and I should now be on update two that comes with all of the new Xamarin. Uh, and this is the this is the first update that that Microsoft has pushed out since uh, Xamarin has been uh, ha ha since they've acquired Xamarin. So uh, this is uh, pretty exciting, and this is all. Uh, very intentional, it seems like, you know, to do it right during Microsoft Build. Uh, it's a very good time to do it. A lot of people are watching, it gets, the, it gets really the news out. So, um, what it's doing right now is it's sort of just, uh, you know, this is usually after every update, it kind of just needs to add some stuff. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to check to make sure that I am on update two. So I can see that I verified that now I'm on update two. All right. But there's still one, there's another step now. Now that I have the right IDE, the most uh, current IDE for the for Xamarin, uh, what I need to do now is I need to update my Xamarin SDK. So this is the Visual Studio IDE that pa gets packaged with Xamarin, the first one uh, with it being free now, Visual Studio 2015 Update 2. What I need to do now is go to, to update the SDK for Xamarin. So let's go into Tools Options. If I go down to the bottom, and I open up the Xamarin uh, arrow, what I'll, and then go to the other, what I can look for is an update. So let's go ahead and check for an update. And here's an update for 03214 is gonna be the, um, if you get this one or the latest one, you should be good. And notice that in the details, it actually talks about the Microsoft Build Conference as of today, which is March 31st. Uh, so this is gonna be the first release of the SDK. Uh, regarding that okay so let's go ahead and get that download it and what this is going to do now is it is, is reinstalls the Xamarin SDK and this is really what's going to make the, the trick of, of uh, what's really going to do a lot of the of uh, the really the um, the versioning of it so it's going to make it to where it's not it shouldn't now check for the evaluation there shouldn't be any more trial uh, your build will not last for 24 hours. It should last you know, indefinitely. So really, really cool stuff. And um, from what I've seen, it seems to be better to first update your IDE and then come into here and then update your Xamarin SDK. So now that it's downloaded, I can go ahead and install. And if you've done this before, it's, there's no difference here. It's just gonna do some stuff. It's you know, open up this dialog, accept the agreement, hit next, and then this is the one I'm concerned about, but uh, it does a pretty good job of just finding the default stuff. So I always just leave it at that. 
All right. It's going to ask me to close application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first close Visual Studio once again and let it do its thing. And this again will uh, hopefully prevent it from restarting, having to restart again, but <laughs> there's, ne there's never a guarantee for that. So we'll see what happens. All right, so the Xamarin setup has finished. And now that it has, I will go back into the project that we had open for Xamarin. And when I run it this time, I should expect to not see that trial uh, splash screen page. So what I'll do here is I'll come over here and I will start up my emulator. I'm going to be starting up the 5.7 that's going to be running Lollipop. And before I uh, begin, what it's always a good idea and what I'll do right now is I will do a rebuild on the entire solution. Uh, it's always a good idea once you got something new just to kind of give it a fresh rebuild, make sure everything is uh, squared away. So I'm looking down here to make sure that my build is successful. Cool, it is. And with that, I will now go ahead and run it. And what we should expect to see guys is, or not see, is no splash page. And there you go. So there's no, uh, there was no splash page that said that it's an evaluation period, uh, that it's only gonna build, work for 24 hours. It just shot up and, you know, it's kind of one of those things that's, that, that's nice, but it's actually saves a, about a second or two on deployment, which if you're running this, you know, when you're, you know, or testing and testing and testing, it's uh, when you're having those uh, splash pages, you know, they add up, you know, it's like, oh man. So, uh, let's go ahead and run that one more time. It's super fast. It, it shoots up now. That's awesome. And, you know, I didn't do anything. Uh, all I did, you guys saw that I had the trial version and update two, and along with the Xamarin SDK update, uh, it now runs and there is no evaluation period. All right. All right, guys. So, I mean, that's just, uh, that's kind of the, the gist of it. Uh, you know, just want to give you the heads up on Xamarin is now free, no cost and to get it going up and running obviously you can see it's not too bad uh, you just simply need to get update 2 on visual studio update the xamarin sdk for uh within visual studio update the sdk and this should work for new projects this is an existing project since i know most of you guys are probably going to be using existing projects uh how do you get your existing project to kind of integrate and and from you can see now it's it's really seamless it really just integrates well uh you know, nothing really other than updating to do on our part. All right, guys, till next time. See ya.